What's up YouTube? This is Galacticod and I'm coming at you now with the full tally of everything we were able to get from our case of the Abyss Rising. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of quickly run through every card that we were able to pull. Um, if you guys are looking to pick up any of these cards, please check out my eBay page. I'm going to have a link to it down in the description bar below. Uh, just keep in mind that a lot of this stuff has now already been sold, so you might not see it on there because it's already gone. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start this time off with the Exceed Monsters. Um, normally start with the normals, but we'll go ahead and do exceeds, kind of twist it up, uh, give it a little bit different vibe this time. Anyways, so first up we have two ga -ga 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 cowboys. Um, I was kind of really hoping to pull a lot more than two of this card. It's a pretty cool super, um, but really just two out of the whole case. So one out of every six boxes, kind of a little weak sauce really. Then we have one, two, three, four, four of the Abyss Dweller. Uh, not too bad. Uh, I mean, four is pretty decent. That's one out of every three boxes. Uh, One-eyed skill gainer. One, two, three, four. So keeping up a good trend of four supers um, for each one almost. Uh, for number eight, we have one, two, three, four as well. Uh, so still sticking with kind of the same average. Um, heroic champion. Uh, Kasa, Kasagangi. I think I said that completely wrong. Oh, well. Kasagangi. One, two, three, four. So for him as well. So uh, still keeping pretty much with four supers, uh, you know, for each uh, for each super that we get. Um, the heroic champion, uh, Gandiva. I think I said that right. One, two, three, and then of the ultras, and then two of the ultimates. Okay, for uh, Mir uh, Mermel, Abyss Gios. I think I said that wrong. <laughs> I said a lot of cards wrong, so you guys should get used to that. <laughs> Uh, we have one, two, three of the Ultras, and then one of the Ultimate. Now, Empress of Prophecy. Um, the Empress of Prophecy is uh, kind of a, a crazy card because I only pulled one out of the whole case, which is really kind of random and rare. Typically, you would pull more than uh, just one of a certain Ultra, but out of the whole case, I only pulled one Ultra, no Ultimates of it. It's the only copy of the card that I actually pulled, probably because they know I'm trying to build a Prophecy deck. I don't know. <laughs> crazy. All right, so for the Madolce Queen, we have two Ultras and then one Ultimate. Um, the Ultras were up on the eBay page. The Ultimate I'm actually going to keep. Uh, a lot of you guys know that I usually keep almost all the Ultimates that I pull from a case. Um, so that one I'm keeping for myself. For number nine, Dyson Sphere, we have one, two of the Ultras and then just one of the Ultimate that we pulled. For our number C32, Shark Drake Vice, we have two Ultras. Oh, I'm sorry, three Ultras, one Ultimate, and of course the Ghost Rare. Very cool. Uh, for the Giant Soldier of Steel, only one Secret Rare, one of that. I'm actually happy that I only pulled one of him, too. <laughs> um, and then, of course, Bahamut Shark, uh, we got two of them uh, from our triple box opening. You saw me and my buddy Gimbledon. Um, we pulled uh, uh, one each from our boxes. Very cool. He's actually an awesome looking card. Very cool looking. All right, so that's going to do it for our Exceed Monsters. Uh, next up, I'm going to go ahead and get into the spell cards. We have one, two, three, four of the Forbidden Dress. So four of the Super Rare Forbidden Dress. Still keeping up with the Fortran. One, two, three, four of the Attack of the, the, attack the Moon. <laughs> Explanation point. <laughs> uh, Dan Housergate, we have one, two, three, four. So four of them as well. So... Pretty standard average of getting four of each supers from a case, it looks like. Uh, Spellbook of Fate, Ultra Rare. We have one, two, and then one of the ultimate. So, pretty cool. Oh, I'm sorry, two of the ultimates. My bad. I don't even know what I pull anymore. <laughs> so, two ultras and two ultimates. Uh, for the Spellbook Library, uh, we got one of them. And then... Only one of the Grand Spellbook Tower. Uh, really kind of a little disappointed in that. I was really hoping to pull at least two, uh, you know, because I was really wanting to build the deck. Now I'm going to have to go out and find the other two. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So if anybody has any of the Grand Spellbook Towers that they're looking to uh, get rid of, um, you know, by all means, go ahead and uh, send me a PM. Maybe we can work something out. All right, so that's the end of our super, or excuse me, for our spells. Now moving on to our traps, 
We have Madolce Palooza, one, two, three, four of the Super Rare Madolce Palooza. For Bubble Bringer, we have one, two, three, four. So four of them as well. For Bisqual, we have one, two, three, four, five. So finally we break the, the barrier of four supers and we get five of the Bisqual. For Memory of an Adversary, we have one, two, three, four. So back to our average of four. For that Wacky Alchemy, we have one, two, three of the Ultras. And then two of the Ultimates. For Abyss Sphere, we have one, two, three of the Ultras. So no Ultimates of this, unfortunately. For Retort, we actually pulled two of this Secret Rare. Kind of an interesting card. Uh, I don't know if it'll see a lot of play. I mean, it's a little situational, but it does have kind of a cool effect, and it's almost like a free negation, really. So, kind of cool, kind of interesting. I kind of like it. Um, all right, so now we're into our uh, normal effect monsters. So for the promo guy himself, Ignoble Knight, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So of course, the promo, we're gonna get six of the supers. Normally we get four, um, you know, and then Gaga Cowboy, we only got two of for some reason, probably because we're getting so many ignoble knights <laughs> to take the place. Kind of sad, really. All right, so for Red Dragon Ninja, we have one, two, three, four, five as well. So unfortunately, we got a little high amount of him as well. Uh, for our Mermel Abysteline, we have one, two of the Ultras, and then one Ultimate. Um, so pretty cool, a full play set that we were able to get from the, the case. Kind of hoping for a little bit better ratio of her, but, you know. For Thunder Seahorse, this is actually a really cool card. Um, I really thought about keeping this one for a while, but I, I went ahead and put it up on the eBay page. We got two of him. Um, very cool. Uh, artwork is actually pretty cool looking, too, as a secret. Nice. And then, of course, Mermel, Abyssal Mego. We have two of him. You guys see me pull both of these from the... Um, the different boxes that uh, we were opening on camera. Very cool to get two of them from a case. And then we have the Mulan Glaish, the Elemental Lord. Not one, but actually two we were able to pull. So very awesome. Uh, getting two of uh, the Mulan Glaish at the end was very cool. Uh, so overall, the, the case I think went really great. We got a lot of the really good secrets uh, you know, out of the case. Um, lots of really good cards overall in the comment section below. Make sure you let me know how you think I did out of the case. And I guess that's it for now. This is Galactic God, out.